All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video of the infamous Crip, Mr. 55 himself, Crip Mac, dissing American Cholo. Now, we also got a video of AC, uh, you know, saying a few words. All this is happening because of Mr. 100. Uh, we all know he recently donated to Lupe, you know, and now all of a sudden uh, we got the uh, Crip Mac disrespecting AC. We got AC coming back with a reply. And, uh, you know, you know, you got a hater world here to set the record straight. But before we get into this video, if you guys are new to the hater world, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video. And most important, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys like what I'm doing or whether you don't. Salute to all the day ones. Salute to all the subscribers. You guys already know nothing but love. Uh, but check this out. If you're subscribed and you're not getting notifications, go back to the main page, click on the bell, and then you got options. Click on all. That way you're notified at all times. Uh, but if anybody wants to send me a video to react to or wants to hit me up for, uh, you know, any kind of uh, business purposes, go to my Instagram at the Hater World and uh, send me a DM. I do reply to everybody. Now, you can also catch every episode before it drops on YouTube, on Spotify, and, and uh, Apple Music. And also catch us on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, you know, everywhere that you can have uh, visual and audio. Uh, also on Rumble. Uh, but back to this video. Check this out. Uh, there's a lot of noise going around right now. And, and this topic has been hot for the last month. I, you know, and it's, it's about that time that we kill it already, right? And I know I've been trying to say that and do that for the last couple episodes, but it just does not go away. So tonight, tonight, 200 Boys, episode number 12, uh, 8 p.m. Make sure you guys tune in, okay? 200 Boys, episode number 12, 8 p.m. tonight. Pull up. Uh, we're going to try to kill this narrative. And move on to bigger and better things. Uh, so check this out. With no further ado, let's get you guys a Southsiders reaction. Let's get it. All right, check this out. Before we start, <clears throat> I do want to uh, congratulate Mr. Crip Mac for, you know, being home. Hopefully he can stay home. Salute. All day, right? But we're going to start with the Crip Mac video. Then we're going to move on to the AC video. We're going to watch him entirely and then come back and try to chop it down. So that way we at least heard both sides of the story. Let's go. God damn, cuz. We're gonna call you American Custer on neighborhood crib. How the fuck you gonna tell Lupe, my home girl, in my King Five Fingers voice, that you're not gonna donate to help her family, her love fives, cuz she's Mexican, but she's from a black gang, cuz she's a crib. Hey, American Custer, hey, fuck you. I respect all Southsiders, you hear me? Y'all got a solid program, but now it's fuck you because how you disrespect Lupe. Don't disrespect Lupe. She cares about everybody like Crip Mac. I care about everybody of all races. You gonna learn to respect the motherfucker, cuz. We not playing no games out here, man. I'm gonna let you know like that, American Cholo, or should I say American Custer, because you disrespected Lupe. The sweetest woman in the world. Why would you do Lupe like that, cuz? That's a real homegirl. You don't know what motherfucker you fucking with. Lupe, let this motherfucker know what's going on. Yeah, neighborhood, neighborhood, bro, you got me fucked up. How are you going to tell me I'm not raza, bro? My parents, I'm, I, I grew up I grew up in a Mexican home. How the fuck are you not going to tell me? Because I'm a crip, bro. Yeah. I don't see no difference between my, my homies and my cousins, bro. You got me fucked up. Yeah, you need to learn to respect that, homie. You know, don't, you know, don't disrespect Lupe. Lupe is great people. So you're not donating. All right, cuz, you ain't got to donate on Hustas, but yes, I'm a fair man on neighborhood crib. I see your love fives out there on Hustas. If they down on Skid Row and they out, cuz, guess what? Me and Lupe will still help them and feed them, regardless of what the fuck you say. So you need to watch it, man. You're dealing with some great people, but you're also dealing <clears> with some <throat> real Husta crabs on hood. Watch your motherfucking mouth and don't disrespect Lupe. Disrespecting Lupe will get you in a world of shit. I'm going to go ahead and keep it 55th straight, American Custer. You call yourself the American Cholo. You American Custer. You ain't never, will ever have more play ball missions than Crip Mac has on Tiny Hardhead FIP on hood. All right, so now what we're going to do is watch the American Cholo reply. Now, uh, the Crip Mac was first, 
right? So you know the timeline. The Crip Mac one was first, and then AC put this on the story. Now keep in mind, all this is happening because of Mr. 100, Mr. Wack 100, right? This is all happening because of his racist remarks, and now he's trying to clean it up by changing the narrative, dropping a bag on Lupe's pockets, you know, in her time of need, and trying to put a narrative out there that AC ain't helped. Let's go ahead and watch this. Man, this is comical, homeboy. First of all, I've never in my life had a conversation with Lupe, whether on the phone, whether on G IG, whether on Texas, same thing goes for Crip Mag. I have never had a conversation with any of them at all. So whatever they're saying, either Crip Mag is lying, either Lupe is lying to Crip Mac, or maybe somebody's lying to both of them. Don't know, don't really care. But I guess this is what happens when somebody gives them a thousand bucks, like whack him a thousand bucks, all of a sudden they want to change the narrative. Lupe is all sensitive because of some fake shit that I never said. But when Wack was saying all this shit to her, it was like, oh, it's no big deal. Let's tell you the agenda, homeboy. But to me, it's all bullshit. It's all lie. Fake news, player. Man. All right. There you go. Now, look, let's go back to this fucking video over here. Let's go. All right. We're going to keep that right there. Listen. All right. <clears throat> American Cholo said it himself that he never spoke to Lupe or Crip Mac, right? Yesterday, when I seen the video, when people were sending me the video, Crip Mac, I was like, when the fuck did Cholo say this? You know, when did Cholo say that he was not going to donate, right? I look for the video. I look for it. I look for it. You know what? I said, fuck it. I'm going to hit him up. Why the fuck am I looking for this shit? I'm going to just hit the boy up and be like, hey, my boy, are you not going to donate or what the fuck's going on, right? And that's when he sent me that clip and he told me that it's a narrative that WAC 100 is running. So, look. Lupe and Crip Mac spoke at a turn. Okay? They spoke on rumors. Crip Mac just got out of prison. He should know better. He should know not to do this without the proper evidence in front of you. Right? Especially coming home from prison, you know, just a few weeks ago. Maybe days. You know, uh, regardless of whatever Lupe is going through, my condolences to her and her family, but nobody is obligated to do a goddamn thing for no one, right? Now, is it the right thing to do? Yeah, it's the right thing to do, right? It's the right thing to do to help out another human being, you know, but not everybody got it like that, right? But all this Mexican versus black, all this, oh, American Cholo is not going to help out Lupe because she's from a black gang. I'm not going to get into all of that at all. Because you know why I'm not going to do it? Because American Cholo just said that he's never had a combo with her. Right? He's never said that he wouldn't. He never said anything. So there's no reason for me to even contest that. Right? We're really going to contest what Crip Mac is talking about. So let's go ahead and watch his video and we're going to break it down. God damn, cuz. We're gonna call you American Custer on Neighborhood Crip. How the fuck you gonna tell Lupe, my home girl, in my King Five Fingers voice, that you're not gonna donate to help her family, her love fives, cuz she's Mexican, but she's from a black gang, cuz she's a Crip. All right, Crip Mac, we want answers. We want answers. Show us where, where that was said. Show us. We're gonna hold you accountable. Show us where that was said. Give us the black and white. Give us the transcript. Give us the audio. Give us the visual. Give us the timestamp. Give us the link. Or it never happened. Or it never motherfucking happened. Show us. Because nowadays, you can't just speak to speak, my boy. And ain't no disrespect to you whatsoever. We are just speaking on facts. Show us the transcript. Oh, you heard it from someone? That don't count. That don't mean nothing. That don't hold no weight. You should know that. Let's go. Hey, American Custer. Hey, fuck you. I respect all Southsiders. You hear me? Y'all got a solid program. But now it's fuck you because how you disrespect Lupe. Don't disrespect Lupe. She can't. Southsiders ain't got nothing to do with whatever the fuck you got going on. So to bring them up, you're doing that on purpose, right? And so now if any Southsiders do feel... Like you're out of pocket, they might come say hello, right? 
Don't know why they were brought up because of American Cholo, you know, is not on that tip. You know, he's an activist. He's out here doing good for the people. So why would you bring it up? I have no fucking idea. Let's go. It's about everybody like Crip Mac. I care about everybody of all races. You gonna learn to respect the motherfucker, cuz. We not playing no games out here, man. I'm gonna let you know like that, American Cholo, or should I say American Custer, cuz you disrespected Lupe, the sweetest woman in the world. Why Check this out. And even if American Cholo said, I ain't gonna donate cuz she's from a black gang, bro, you don't gotta do shit. He don't gotta look out. He ain't got to break bread. He ain't got to take time out of his day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that don't make him a bitch, a sucker, a lame, a nobody, a hood rat. That don't make him nothing. That don't make him shit. Like, since when are you obligated to help somebody? Regardless of whether they're from this gang or that gang. Bro, check this out. You don't even know if his hood and her hood are enemies or have any kind of beef. I ain't going to put shit in the pockets of somebody I don't fuck with. Let's go. But you do Lupe like that, cuz. That's a real homegirl. You don't know what motherfucker you fucking with. Lupe, let this motherfucker know what's going on. Yeah, neighborhood, neighborhood bro, you got me fucked up. How are you going to tell me I'm not raza, bro? My parents, I'm, I, I, grew up, I grew up in a Mexican home. How the fuck are you not going to tell me? Because I'm a crip, bro. Yeah. I don't see no difference between my, my homies and my cousins, bro. You got me fucked up. Yeah, you know. Check this out. Somebody sent me a video where Lupe said, so you could use me for clout and clicks, but you can't help me. You can't donate to me. First of all, let me let me make this very clear. Anything on the Internet is free game. It's open season for anyone. OK. And to be exact, it's not that American Cholo used you for clicks. You used yourself for clicks. For being on the podcast with that motherfucker whack 100 and allowing him to roast you. And now you're buddy buddy because he gave you some chump change. Not all money is good money, my G. You should know better than that. Fuck that. I, I would have never accepted that money regardless of how bad my fucking family is doing. Bro, if my fucking family's house burnt down, you know, hopefully... That shit will never happen. But if that were to happen and some food that dissed me and my culture... Because Lupe just claimed to be Raza. She just said it out of her own mouth. She claims to be Raza, right? Okay, you're Raza. So you allowed this fat motherfucker to diss you, your family, your uncles, your tios, your tias, your jefito, your jefita, and then a thousand bucks gonna make that go away? Damn. What a fucking shame. Te vendiste for a thousand bucks. That was your price tag? That was your motherfucking price tag? And then whack 100 out here spinning the narrative, using you, Lupe, for clicks. So WAC 100 is using you. He's using you as the guinea pig. And you can't see that? And you mad as a motherfucker that ain't gonna donate because he don't fucking know you? You mad at a motherfucker that ain't gonna donate because he don't know you, but you not mad at a motherfucker that disrespected you, called you a fat, wetback piece of shit, you know, Home Depot, carne asada bread, even when as far as disrespecting your homeboy, Crip Mac, but all that goes away as long as he gave you, just because he gave you a thousand bucks, all that goes away. Damn, talk about the morals, talk about the, the respect, talk about, talk about the uh, standing ten toes down and saying, fuck you and fuck your money, homie. Shove that shit up your fucking BBW ass. I'm cool on that. Damn. God damn. Listen, I know times are hard and I know you might need the bread for the, for the family and shit. But listen, you're a whole personality out here, right? You're a whole personality out here. There's many ways to come up with that bread. Many fucking ways, you know. And you can't, you can't, I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to just leave that shit alone. All right, let's keep going. Learn to respect that, homie. You know, you know, don't disrespect Lupe. Lupe is great people. So you're not donating. All right, cuz, you ain't got to donate on Hustas, but just... I'm a fair man on Nate Wood Crip. I see your love fives out there on Hustlers. If they down on Skid Row and they out, cuz, guess what? Me and Lupe. Check this out. Let me, let me make this clear to Crip Mac. That's different. When you out there on Skid Row, you're not out there helping out different gangs or being involved in online media beefs and social media bullshit. You're out there just to help out the needy. That's it. 
okay, there's been ongoing back and forth with WAC 100, Lupe, American Cholo. So it's different. But let me make this clear because people don't understand. This whole racial shit that WAC 100 said, okay, let me make this very clear. It ain't about Lupe. It's beyond her. I don't know why people can't fucking understand that. Get that shit through their fucking skull. It ain't about Lupe. It's about what the fuck WAC 100 said. It ain't about Lupe, homie. I don't give a fuck that she's from a black gang, a Mexican gang, a white gang. At the end of the day, her skin is brown and her parents are from Mexico. Okay? So what WAC 100 says doesn't matter what gang Lupe is from. He was directing that at the culture. Understand that shit. But listen, I think Crip Mac owes American Cholo an apology. I think he should come out publicly and say, I apologize for speaking on shit that wasn't true. You know, I did my research and it is very true that those words never came out of your mouth. So I apologize like a motherfucking man. Now let's see if he does that. Motherfucker, share this, send it to him, get it cracking. And as far as Lupe, no disrespect intended. I don't know you. I ain't got an issue with you. For all I know, we solid, right? But understand that all money ain't good money. And understand when somebody is playing you. And the only person playing you here is WAC 100. He is using you to spin the narrative. He is using you as bait. He is using you to laugh at everybody else, including you and your family, okay? Very simple. Think about it. Sit there and literally ask your real motherfucking friends and ask the question. Uh, another thing. WAC 100 keeps talking about having this group signed to him, the Coyotes, right? He says it in almost every clubhouse. Go find it. He says, I got two artists assigned to me that are Mexican. Somehow, the Coyotes ended up on my page, tagged, and I'll show you right here. Wherever the fuck, right here. And they say they're independent, okay? So if you're independent, make a video and claim you're independent. Because if not, this motherfucker over here is claiming that you're signed to them. Make up your motherfucking mind. Which one is it? Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. No disrespect to nobody intended. Hopefully everybody can take this and learn from it and fix their mistakes and keep it pushing. But tonight at 8 p.m., episode number 12, 200 boys, Blue Devil and Playboy Too Harder. So make sure you guys pull up. Don't miss the motherfucking show. Don't be late. And as always, we start the show 10 minutes before we go live. So you're going to sit in the chat and just fuck around. But other than that, I'm Blue Devil. This has been the Hater World production. And we out.